A typical neuron consists of three main parts, dendrites, the cell body, and the axon. Dendrites receive information from the axons of other neurons. A typical neuron may have many dendrites, which resemble the trunks and branches of trees. And in fact, the word dendrite comes from a Greek word meaning tree. The cell body, also called the soma, contains a number of structures that are important for the functioning of the cell. The nucleus contains the cell's DNA. The genes of the DNA determine and control the functions of the neuron. Within the nucleus is another structure, the nucleolus which transcribes the information contained in the genes into RNA, which in turn makes the substances necessary for the neuron to live and function. On the surface of the cell body is a small bump called the axon hillock from which the cell's single axon travels toward other cells. If enough excitation occurs at the axon hillock, then an action potential is propagated down the entire length of the axon. By means of the action potential traveling down the axon, information eventually passes from one neuron to another or to glands or muscles. Events that occur along the dendrites, cell body, and axon are ultimately responsible for everything from our thoughts and actions to our feelings, dreams, and desires. The event that makes all of these possible is the action potential. An action potential is triggered when sufficient depolarization occurs at the axon hillock to reach the firing threshold. Here, the brief flashes on the dendrites and cell body represent postsynaptic potentials. Postsynaptic potentials are caused by axons from other neurons, which are not shown here, releasing neurotransmitters that cause excitatory or inhibitory postsynaptic potentials. The sum of these events at the axon hillock determines whether an action potential will occur. The action potential, represented here as a bright light, originates from the axon hillock on the cell body. Once initiated, the action potential travels unchanged all the way from the axon hillock to the axon terminals. Events responsible for this all or none propagation of the action potential occur along its membrane. Here, 